a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You too go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around, and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give the last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus, the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Most likely the parable that we just heard struck the contemporaries of Jesus as puzzling, just as it does us. In the world of finance and business, where people are hired and fired, the manager of a firm does not pay everyone the same wage. From an economic point of view, the parable does not make much sense. Paying part-time people full-time pay would lead to financial ruin. As we might surmise, the parable today is not about economics or running a business or equal pay for equal work. The parable is about generosity, specifically God's generosity and our feelings about God's generosity. Each one of us is called by God and given unique talents and gifts. Admittedly, we are not all given the same gifts in exactly the same way, but each one is gifted in some way. Unfortunately, my friends, rather than taking time to discover our own gifts and appreciating them, too many of us look around and make comparisons. Seeing good fortune in the gifts of others, we may think how little we have been given. Rather than gratitude being the fundamental feeling about our lives, envy and resentment become our companions. Always looking over our shoulders at someone else, we may judge our lives in comparison and resent what we see. Just like the workers hired in the early hours of the day. When we make the judgment that good fortune of others means that we have been deprived, that we are inadequate, that we are lacking, then we have embraced envy as a way of life. How do we justify our envy? As in the parable today, we tell ourselves and everyone around us, life is not fair. The statement that life is unfair is a mental trap that we may use to avoid looking within ourselves and answering the questions, why do I have so much difficulty seeing the gifts that God has given to me? Why don't I value and honor the gifts that are mine? Why do I choose to remain cynical and ungrateful instead of being appreciative and content? Why have I let envy rule my life? To say that life is hard, real hard at times, is an honest statement. It helps us to think about the challenges we must face. The way out of envy is not some imaginary situation where everything is equal. The way out of envy is to choose to change my attitudes about myself 
about my gifts and the real possibilities in my life and in my future. The way out of envy is to consider myself and my talents as gifts from God to me and to treasure them as a sign of God's unique love for me. My sisters and brothers, clearly, the Gospel today challenges each of us to make that choice, to move from resentment to gratitude, from envy to appreciation, to accept the fact that God has dealt uniquely with me in my own life, to accept myself as coming from the hand of God, to believe that God has brought me to this unique point in my life. These affirm my faith and allow me to acknowledge God with praise and thanksgiving as the giver of all good gifts. In your gratefulness, may the Lord give you peace.